Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem B2 from Putnam 1960. The question is about evaluating this double sum. Sum m equals 0 to infinity, n equals 0 to infinity of 2 to the power of negative 3m minus n minus m plus n squared. I'm going to start with some things that I tried and some of them did work, some of them did not work. Um, first of all, if you are interested in these sums, I have a video on different ways of evaluating these sums and I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. Um, that gives you an idea of how to evaluate these. Second, you may want to pause and think about this uh, problem and come back and watch the rest of the video to see how I solve the problem. Okay, so one of the techniques of solving, uh, of evaluating these double sums is swapping sum. So what does that mean? It means you could basically swap m and n and that would give you another sum. m equals 0 to infinity, n equals 0 to infinity, uh, 2 to the power of negative 3n minus m minus m plus n squared. The problem with this is that even if we just add these two things, which would be double the initial sum, It won't help all that much because you could factor the common terms but really the key here is you're gonna get this term with so we can write it down like this 2 to the power of negative 2n plus 2 to the power of negative 3m so we can evaluate these but really the issue is evaluation of things that have um, uh, something squared as the exponent. So how do we evaluate something like that? If you have m plus 1 squared um, as the exponent, so that sum of that cannot be evaluated. Something like this, sum of 2 to the power of negative n, that can easily be evaluated. But something like 2 to the power of negative n squared, that really cannot be evaluated. So then what I thought is that perhaps I have to uh, write down the sum as m plus n is used as a new variable. So in other words, let's see what is the range for m and n. m and n are between 0 and infinity. So if I want to change the variables in a way that I replace m plus n by a new variable, m plus n would be greater than or equal to n and n would be greater than or equal to 0. So if I rewrite the initial sum, so this is m equals 0 to infinity, n equals 0 to infinity, 2 to the power of negative 3m minus n minus m plus n squared. So we can write this as the sum. There are basically two different ways of writing this down. Either we could write down n equals 0 to infinity, the sum, and then if I call m plus n k, then this k can be anywhere from n it cannot be less than n, but it can be n to infinity. And then inside, I can write this down as 2 to the power of negative 3. So I can, I'm can i going to write down everything in terms of n and k, which is the sum of m and n. So m would be k minus n. n uh, would be just n, and this would be k squared. So if we do that, we're going to get the sum n equals 0 to infinity, the sum k equals 0 to infinity, k equals n to infinity, 3 to the power, uh, 2 to the power of negative 3k, um, plus 2n, and then minus k squared. Okay, so that, um, that way I can take out 2 to the power of negative, 2 to the power of 2n, so we get we get sum n equals 0 to infinity, 2 to the power of 2n, and then the sum 2 to the power of negative 3k minus k squared. k equals n to infinity. Okay, so this is a bit problematic because, again, I can't really evaluate this one. But what I can do is I can swap the limits. So how can I do that? Let's just rewrite this again. So this is um, m and n go from 0 to infinity. 2 to the power of negative 3m minus n minus m plus n squared. So I'm going to replace, again, same idea, k by m plus n, uh, which is going to be greater than or equal to n, 
and m is uh, n is uh, greater than or equal to zero. We could do for m or we could do for n. Now here we can say k goes from zero to infinity as the first sum. Then we can say n goes from zero. It cannot exceed k. And if we do that, we're going to get two to the power of. We're going to get, get, we're going to get the same thing. So negative three k plus two n minus k squared. Now the nice thing about this is that I can actually evaluate the first sum. This is the sum k equals zero to infinity. I can take out the negative uh, two to the power of negative three k minus k squared, and I'm going to be left with two to the power of two n n equals zero to k. So now let's evaluate this sum. This sum uh, can be easily evaluated. This is a geometric sum. It's a finite geometric sum. So the way I remember the formula is, it is the first term, which is 1, minus the term after the last term, which is 2 times k plus 1, over 1 minus, and the common ratio is 4. So this is equal to the sum. Uh, let's uh, multiply this out. So there's a denominator of negative 3, 2 to the power of negative 3k minus k squared minus 2 to the power of uh, negative k minus k squared uh, plus 2. Okay, so and this is k equals 0 to infinity. Now, if you look at the exponents of 2's, I'm going to factor out a 1 third and I'm going to swap the 2 to just get rid of the negative sign. The exponents are going to be negative k squared minus k plus 2 and the other one is negative k squared minus 3k. Those two can be factored. So one third times the sum k equals 0 to infinity. This is one half to the power of k squared plus k minus 2. That is k minus 1 times k plus 2. So this gives us k squared plus k and then minus 2 minus this is one half to the power of k times k plus 3 okay now what's the resemblance here this and this are differ by one and same thing here so if you write down the first few terms you see what happens so this is this the first term is um, one half to the power of negative 1 times 2 minus 1 half to the power of 0 times 3 plus 1 half to the power of 0 times 3 minus 1 half to the power of 1 times 4. So we are substituting k equals 0 we get these two terms. k equals 1 gives us these two terms. k equals 2 gives us 1 times 4 and then 2 times 5 plus minus etc as you see there is a telescoping sum here this one and this one cancels this one and this one cancels this and the next one cancels and of course the answer becomes one third times one half to the power of negative 2 which is four thirds if you like this video feel free to subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the videos on my uh, channel and I will see you next video